You show email address dp at danpatrick.com. Kurt Warner got a lot of play yesterday when he was on the program. And uh, I'll bring that back in a couple of minutes here. Also, uh, what one show is trying to do, and I understand, there are other shows that will watch this show or listen to this show. And I, I don't blame you, because what we do is you know, different than anybody else. We're getting answers out of people that anybody else can call up, but you'll notice the mothership is using our uh, questions and answers. Pardon the interruption, around the horn, you know, even other radio shows. But, you know, sometimes you get people who say, why don't I make this mine? You know, you're being called out today. Being called out today. And really, if, if you can't trust the people who are supposed to be gathering news, I mean, just, just be a journalist, that's all. Or, or try to have some ethics there. I have no problem using sound. If somebody else comes up with something, that's great. Because I, I want to share that with the audience and then give my opinion on it. If Mike and Mike have Bo Ryan on and he's talking about not letting a kid out of his scholarship, fine. They got the interview. Good for them. But I don't book Bo Ryan an hour later and go, hey, let me ask the same questions that Mike and Mike did. Now, if Jim Rohn came up with something, I have no problem quoting these people. Because you're, you're, you know, you're an educated audience. You know where it, it, it started from. You know the genesis of this. But when you get people who are lazy, when my last question to Kurt Warner is about his kids playing football, and then Colin Cowherd goes on, and his first question an hour later to Kurt Warner, or whenever he had him on, is about, you know, Junior Sale, when uh, I, I heard the news, I was thinking about all the parents who weren't going to let their kids play football. Really, that's the first thing you thought of as Junior Seau puts a gun to his chest and kills himself? Come on. Come on, you're better than that. Or maybe you're not, I don't know. All I know is everybody else in the mothership, around the horn, pardon the interruption, even Doug Gottlieb on his radio show, quoting this show with the interview with Kurt Warner. That, that's being professional. But if you're in competition, at least be, you know, have some ethics, you know? The first question you asked Junior Seau about Junior Seau is to Kurt Warner, who was involved in Bounty Gate? Hey, you know, I was thinking maybe, you know, kids, you know, parents don't let their kids play. Really? That's the first thing you thought of. Now, what you tried to do is you tried to steal something. That's what that is. And maybe, and even Mike and Mike this morning, I'm told, they were quoting Colin Cowherd's interview with Kurt Warner. You know where it came from. And guys, you've been, at, you've been actually professional about this. You've credited us in the past, but come on. It's silly and embarrassing. And, and you know what? You, you do your audience wrong that way. You want to manipulate them and act like you're passionate about a topic because you want to be controversial or different or, you know, go, go, go get them. But you know what? It was lazy yesterday. Somebody heard it. Hey, we got Kurt Warner on. You got to go with this. Getting a lot of internet buzz. People are tweeting about this. It's trending. And I have a cordial relationship with Colin Cowherd. I don't know him. But when he first got there, I, I tried to make it an easy transition, easier transition for him at the mothership, because he was coming in from outside. Tough transition. But you know what? Don't be lazy. You may be competing with me. Don't be lazy. And you were lazy yesterday, and you know that. I'll bring back the Kurt Warner sound. And I know it's inside radio talk, but you know what? I'm passionate about this. Kurt Cousins interview. Anybody could have called him up. We asked him the question. He gave us the answer. And everybody went with it. Fritzy got Kurt Warner yesterday. He talked about Bounty Gate. And you have six other people had the interview with Kurt Warner yesterday. Nobody else got that. And that's, but that's our job, you know? I want to come on and say, hey, we did a great job yesterday. I only come on to defend what we do, how we do it. And that Fritzy spends every waking moment getting the right guest on this show. And Paulie coming up with angles and questions and how we surround this. McLovin tweeting about it, blogging about it. 
I asked them to do the job. I asked them to do their job. See, cutting the uh, sound from the interview and sending it to the mothership. You know, we only got five guys in the room here. I'll take on the umpire. And I like my damn chances.